So I got up this morning and went to my storage unit to do maintenance. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that the weekends is when I do my maintenance on my equipment. And again, if you're not doing maintenance, guys, you, it is imperative that you do your maintenance on your equipment, okay? So I was looking at my equipment after washing it, and I said, you know what? I don't like the orange. It doesn't match with my red and black. So guess what? I just took the orange off, wipe it down with some alcohol, clean it off real good, ensure that I didn't have any oils on it, and went to my local uh, hardware store and bought me some spray paint, red spray paint, with primer and paint and some tape and went to town. So I'm painting all my orange equipment to red. Now one question that I had, I mean all my equipment is paid off anyway, but if you have a warranty on your equipment, will they still honor your warranty? Good question, right? Because does the color matter when it comes to your warranty work? I'll have to call some of my dealers in the area and find out for you guys. But if you guys know, if you're, if you're a dealer or someone in that field, please leave a comment. Let me know. Does it make a big difference? Or does it make a difference if I pay my equipment? So yeah, guys. Um no reason at all why I decided to do this I just got up and decided to paint my equipment and I think it's gonna look pretty cool though you know it, it it's gonna look cool and one thing for sure you can tell it's mine right <laughs> I'm the only guy with a, with a red steel blower and red Husqvarna trimmers <laughs> But guys, just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, what I'm doing here. And uh, who knows, we'll see how this works, how it holds up. And uh, if, uh, if my other equipment is going to be uh, painted as well. Now, I was, I was told by one guy, he said I should have bought a red... Um, blower right why buy something when you can just paint it right makes no sense but okay plus that red blower he was talking about was not something that I, I wanted anyway hey now inside I ensured that I didn't cover the uh, serial number so that's one thing that I kind of you know taped up on the inside anyway not that you know it has a warranty but oh well but yeah this is what it looks like so from this point on guys you're gonna be seeing uh, <laughs> red equipment on my videos but yeah guys just wanted to show you you know another way that you can also do is you can um, you can plasti dip these parts but I'm not sure how it will hold up to you know the day-to-day -day, uh, you know beat down that you know this equipment gets but who knows right so at the end of the video I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like and yeah from this point on my equipment is going to be uh, red and who knows I may paint the uh, the, the PR800 as well yeah. <laughs> no, guys, just taking some pride, man. Making these this this piece of equipment mine. You know what I mean? I mean, it's already paid for, so why not, right? If you take the dealer, get it repaired. They're not gonna say, well, we can't repair it because it's not the color that you know it usually is. They just go ahead and repair, it, right? So, oh well. Hi, right, guys. Uh, 
I'm gonna put this together and um, at the end I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Leave your comment guys, let me know what you think. Have a blessed one and uh, again, leave your comments. I'll smoke. Peace.